festival, freedom rally for you. Stuff goes on here, you know, until you're not going to find another hemp fest like this anywhere in the world. It's the largest annual free speech rally, and we do it because we've been socially responsible the whole time. There's so many things we do that you don't even know about that we do for your safety and to be, to do this righteously and to do it right. Uh, I, I couldn't even list them all, I wouldn't have time. And, and, and we work with the Seattle Police Department, we work with the Seattle Port of Police, De Port of Seattle Police Department, we work with Seattle Medic One, uh, we work with the Seattle Fire Marshal's Office, the Parks Department, and we go through a series of meetings, and guess what? They're all working with us diligently and honestly to make this happen and make it be safe, because they respect the First Amendment, they respect the Constitution here in Seattle. But we have a responsibility to do it right. And, uh, and you know, we have a safety patrol here, we've got our own first aid people, uh, volunteer first aid crew, and we even rent two extra heart defibrillators. AMR brings heart defibrillators, but this is such a long park. We, we rent two extra AEDs, is what they call them. So that if somebody has a heart attack in this, in this park, we can get to them on time with a heart defibrillator. So I want to thank the Seattle Police Department. You know, we legalized Herb here. Now they can spend more time putting their lives on the line every single day to keep us safe in our communities. And you know, cops are people, you know, all people aren't perfect. But, but cops are risking their lives, and we actually have a lot of respect at Seattle Hemp Fest for all first responders that rush into the most dangerous situations when we're partying, hanging out, eating, having fun, sleeping. There's always somebody ready to, to go right out there. So we want to thank the fire department, the Port of Seattle Police Department, the Seattle Police Department for working with us and coordinating with us to make this happen. Uh, another thing that we do because we love you is we raffle something off every single day from this stage. For about 20 years now, we've grappled off a guitar signed by everybody on stage uh, the whole weekend during this event. And, and Tim, what else are we going to raffle off today? Well, today we've got a really nice, uh, about a two and a half foot long water pipe. It's got Dicro on it. It's from Peace of Mind in Spokane. They've been a sponsor of ours up here on Main Stage for many years. We're going to give this away with the bag and a whole bunch of goodies inside of it later on today. You can buy the tickets, they're $5 each. We've got a booth over there, you can see the green booth. You can also see our people walking around with tickets in their arms. Please, if you get a chance, help us continue HempFest. Thank you, bro. Speaking of which, HempFest cost $750,000 to throw. We had to shave $100,000 off last year because our donations have been so catastrophically low. We lost two stages this year. We had a 19-year Sealy stage. They had a crew, a family, that worked that stage for 19 years. It's gone this year. So is the EDM stage, Starborn, gone. Because we get such my minuscule contributions in our donation bins, man. The whole hemp fest is gonna be gone. Eventually, if you can't kick down, we can only raise so much money with these awesome, awesome vendors and sponsors. And so uh, we shaved 100,000 bucks off this year. The other thing I wanna say is that, you know, hemp fest, we don't believe it's a good thing at all for children to be smoking pot especially for children to get a hold of edibles, medibles, that's really not good, man. They can get really, it won't kill them, but a kid gets hold of a, a little kid gets hold of a medible, it can make them really sick. So please be responsible in your use. Don't drive impaired. You'll know when you're impaired and when you're not. Don't push it, man. It's not worth it. Not worth killing somebody or dying. I think it's worse to kill somebody than to die personally, to have to live with that. So, you know, just telling you, man, that that's the, that's the message of Seattle Hemp Fest. We don't necessarily support teenagers, you know, young teenagers running around smoking pot. But I need to let you know that we're a free speech, constitutionally protected free speech event. And we cannot deny anybody entry for age or any other reason uh, except a public safety reason for HempFest. So we need to really federally legalize it. Federally legalize it. So that cannabis is not available to children in alleys and schoolyards. Because you notice, you go to a rec store here, you get asked for your ID twice twice to prove your age. I never heard of a, of a pot dealer asking somebody for their ID. So, you know, it ain't perfect. I don't, there's a lot of things I don't like about our current rec system here in Seattle or in Washington State. Uh, but what, one thing it is doing is keeping, keeping kids from getting a hold of pot. If a kid eats a, a pack of cigarettes, it could kill him. If a kid drinks a bottle of liquor, it could kill him. But it's still not a good idea for, for kids to get a hold of your medibles. So put them away, man. All right. This golden event is extremely excited. A band that came on at the last minute on our, our, our uh, roster here.
These guys are so awesome. Give it up, Seattle Hemp Fest. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Put your hands together for Golden Toads. Hey, everybody. I've got a quick announcement about your kidneys. They're so important. You've got two. Thank you. Hey, two things I want you to take away about your kidneys. One for you and one for somebody else. Get some exercise each week for yourself. Eat less salt for yourself. For somebody else, become an organ donor. Organdonor.gov. You'll make a difference to someone right here today. Thank you. Dude, come on. Man. Check, all right, all right. Check, hey, I just wanted to say we're Golden Toads, and uh, if you guys are out there walking around, you want to take a little break and check out our band. We're a three-piece band. We're out of Seattle, Washington. All right. And uh, we're going to hit you guys with some rock because I feel like Seattle, the Seattle sound that came out, Allison Change, Grunt Truck, Nirvana, Chris Cornell with Soundgarden, that's all kind of gone away and kind of went just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just some of the music that's coming out now. But we're going to take it back and just let you guys know we're going to hit you with some heavy stuff. So thanks, Vivian. Thank my, my uh, booking agent, Donna. Jim Goldsmith. Thank him. And uh, we're going to kick this off.
future and sacred thoughts. It's been heartfelt secrets about the shadows of the blue. We are the underworld, we are the undertow. We're speaking from beneath, change metal if you go. Bring it! tension in the country from what's going on back east, but we just go to toe once you say, it doesn't matter what color your skin is, we're all one, and we're here at Hempfest to get along and, and have a good time today and, and enjoy yourself, so hey, this is Golden Toads, go to Facebook and like us because we need more likes on Facebook, so it's Golden Toad.
All right, like I said, we're Golden Toads. We've got two left, two more songs left. Like I said, go and like us on Facebook if you like us. If you don't, don't do it. We rather really have real fans. Thanks. <laughs>
This song is dedicated to Jimi Hendrix. Thanks for kicking rock off in Seattle. He's number one. Best friend Eric on drums, and we're Golden Toads. Thank you guys. See you next year. Golden Toads. I like how they, that's the first time anybody brought a smoke machine up here because you know what? Seattle Hemp 